That's the first one. Imran Khan strikes. And England have lost. Moin Ali. Plan not working for England. Moin Ali opening the batting. Wonderful player of spin, but he's not surviving long enough. Real loose shot. Again, Pakistan getting the ball way outside off stump. Have a go, and he does. Straight into second slip. It's me, it's me. Imran Khan gets the first wicket. England lose Moin Khan. It's nine for one. Catch it! So there's the top edge and yeah! Ghana. Difficult shot to play, and uh, Cook has top edged it into the safe hands of the fielder at square leg. Couldn't have positioned him any better than this. Uh, it was always going to be tough for Cook to, Cook to survive this. Took a good catch in the end. It, it was a pressure take because it was of Cook's bat, and so Pakistan have earned a huge wicket here. Cook gone for 10, 19 for 2. Out of the rough, trying to sweep the ball. This explosion off the surface. Just couldn't control that sweep shot. It was always going to be difficult to execute that shot. You're always under pressure as a, an England player or an international player. Ah! Still runs. Now, is that pad and glove? Now, if we can blow this up. Yeah, it's glove. It's glove. It's a good review from Mizbar. And it looks as though the partnership between Bell and Root will come to an end. No question that uh, when that picture was blown up, magnified. Ah! Oh, beauty. I'm sure that's a clean catch. Just not to the pitch of the ball. Perfect left armers delivery, little drift in and spin. The umpire, soft signal of out, so they think it's out. Yunus definitely thinks it's out. He's just not to the pitch of the ball, allows the ball to spin just enough, takes the outside edge. She's in there. Yeah, that's pretty clear. We've seen this before, but that's one that you can tell. The fingers are underneath. You can tell clearly. Now, this is working perfectly. You can see the zoom up and the fingers are underneath and the ball nestles in there. Joe Root's looking at it as well. Soft decision to the umpire, or to the third umpire from standing umpire. Soft decision was out, and there it is. Can't be an iceberg through and through. Ah! Oh, he's cleaned him up. He was trying to close the face of the bat. He's missed it completely, played around it. I'm not sure if this is a top spinner. It looks as if it may have just gone straight on, or um, Johnny Bester was looking for a bit of spin there. Like the first ball of the over, it looked as if he was trying to knock it into the mid-wicked region and, and, and get a single and, and sort of try and rotate the strike. Uh, we'll see here, you know, good bowling from Mesa shot and good captaincy as well by leaving that gap open and, 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 and tempting Johnny Bairstow into playing that shot. Yeah, it's a googly by the looks of it. Uh, and, and he's just done in there in the flight. I'm not sure. Uh, it is a little bit slower, a similar pace and, and not much there for Johnny Bairstow to pick up with regards to being a variation. Johnny Besto, 22, England, 163 for five. Yay! That's picked by Yunus Khan. He's in business again. Yasser Shah has got another one. Butler is walking. But he couldn't do a lot about that delivery. The perfect length pitched within the playing zone and caught. Has to play at it. That's the secret. And it does bounce. It turns and bounces. But... Uh... Yunus Khan makes no mistake. He's been there for many years now. He knows exactly what to do and how to do it and does it well. Just Butler. 
He goes for seven. 178 for six. Taken. Good catch. Imran Khan, we're talking about how straight he bowls, how he hits a good length and just moves the ball a little off the seam. And he's too good for Ben Stokes, who is furious with himself on this turning pitch. He's got out to a seamer for the second time in the game. A fantastic length again from Imran and just a little bit of movement away from the left-hander. Loves the celebration, but Stokes battled hard. And he has to go miss putting a neat catch. He's out for 13. England losing their seventh, 193. Oh, that's the one he was looking for. Perfect Yorker. Couldn't get the bat down in time abroad, and he dismissed. Number eight goes. Well, he's cranked it up. It's a wonderful piece of bowling. He's okay there, lands behind, and then just drifts forward. He's fine. Every effort, every sinew he gets, he's swinging Yorker in. Castle Stuart Broad. The big fella's got one. Resistance from Broad has ended. He's pumped up. Stuart Broad, 30. England is nearly over, 253 for eight. Yeah! Yeah! They've got the partnership broken. They've got wicket number nine. They've been waiting for over two hours for that. The two umpires getting together now to make sure if the catch was taken cleanly. Pakistan fielders feel they've got the man. The call for the uh, review. You can see the soft call. The umpires think it's probably out. So let's have a look. Looked pretty good to me. Turn bounds high on the bat. Off it goes. Absolutely nothing wrong with that whatsoever. In fact, I don't think it's been wrong with one catch. Anything wrong with any of them so far in this series. It's just the cameras can. Yeah, yeah! Yasser Shah, brought on by Mizbar ul Haq, has induced a drive from Adil Rashid, has caught cover, and Rashid's magnificent resistance comes to an end. Going for a drive, and the spin twins do it. Elation. Yeah, Yasser Shah had been given a break. His fingers were tired, been struggling to get anything out of the pitch, and he came back, fizzed a couple,